Hello and welcome to the channel guys. Today we will explore Edinburgh, Scotland. I lived there for several years and thought I would share some must-dos if you want to visit. Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, is a beautiful and historic city with a wide range of attractions and activities to enjoy. Here are some things to do in Edinburgh. Number 1. Edinburgh Castle. Explore this iconic fortress perched on an extinct volcano. The castle offers breathtaking views of the city and houses the honors of Scotland. Edinburgh Castle is a historic and iconic landmark in the heart of Edinburgh. When you visit the castle, there are several key attractions and areas to explore. Crown Jewels. See the honors of Scotland, which include the crown, scepter, and sword of state. These are the Scottish crown jewels and are displayed in the crown room. Stone of Destiny. View the Stone of Destiny, also known as the Stone of Scone, which was used in the coronation of Scottish and British monarchs. It's located in the Crown Room. Royal Palace. Explore the Royal Palace, which includes the royal apartments where the Scottish and British monarchs once resided. You can see historic rooms such as the Crown Room, the Great Hall, and the St. Margaret's Chapel. St. Margaret's Chapel. Visit the oldest surviving building in Edinburgh, a small Romanesque chapel dedicated to St. Margaret, which was built in the 12th century. One O'Clock Gun. Witness the daily firing of the One O'Clock Gun, a tradition dating back to 1861. The gun is fired at precisely 1 p.m. from Mills Mount Battery, and it originally served as a time signal for ships in the Firth of Forth. While these are some of the main attractions within Edinburgh Castle, the castle itself offers spectacular views of the city and surrounding areas. Take your time to explore its rich history, stunning architecture, and cultural significance. It's a must-visit site for anyone exploring the city of Edinburgh. Number 2. The Royal Mile. The Royal Mile is one of the most famous and historic streets in Edinburgh stretching for approximately one mile from Edinburgh Castle to the Palace of Holyrood House at the other end. It is the central thoroughfare of the old town of Edinburgh and is steeped in history, culture, and a wide range of attractions. Here are some of the notable things to see and do along the Royal Mile. The Scotch Whiskey Experience. Learn about Scotland's national drink, Scotch Whiskey, in an interactive and educational museum. You can even sample some Scotch whiskies. Camera Obscura and World of Illusions, a fun and interactive attraction featuring optical illusions, holograms, and the famous Camera Obscura with breathtaking rooftop views of the city. St. Giles Cathedral. Also known as the High Kirk of Edinburgh, this stunning church features beautiful stained glass windows and intricate architecture. The Real Mary King's Close. Take a guided tour through a series of underground streets and closes that offer a glimpse into 17th century life in Edinburgh. John Knox House. Explore the historic house where the Protestant reformer John Knox lived in the 16th century. Scottish Parliament Building. Take a guided tour of this modern and architecturally unique building, which is home to the Scottish Parliament. The Royal Mile is not only a historic and cultural hub but also a vibrant and lively part of the city. It's a must-visit for anyone exploring Edinburgh, offering a rich blend of history, entertainment, and shopping opportunities. Number 3. Palace of Holyrood House. Visit the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland and explore the beautiful palace and its gardens. The Palace of Holyrood House, often referred to simply as Holyrood Palace, is the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland. It is located at the end of the Royal Mile in Edinburgh, adjacent to the majestic Holyrood Abbey. Here's what you can expect to see and do when visiting this historic palace. State Apartments. Explore the beautifully furnished state apartments, which are still used for official ceremonies and entertaining when the Queen is in residence. You can admire the grandeur of these rooms, including the throne room, the great gallery, and the royal dining room. Mary, Queen of Scots Apartments. Visit the rooms associated with Mary, Queen of Scots, 
who resided in the palace in the 16th century. Holyrood Abbey. Admire the picturesque ruins of Holyrood Abbey, which dates back to the 12th century. The abbey is often used for royal weddings and has a rich history. The Queen's Gallery. View changing exhibitions from the royal collection in this modern gallery adjacent to the palace. Audio Guides. Enhance your visit with an audio guide that provides historical context and information about the palace and its collections. The palace has a rich history and is associated with many significant events in Scottish and British history. It's a place of both regal splendor and historical intrigue. When visiting, be sure to check the opening hours, as the palace is occasionally closed to the public during official events or when the Queen is in residence. It's a must-visit for history enthusiasts, as well as those interested in the British monarchy and the history of Scotland. Number 4. Holyrood Park. Besides Arthur's Seat, explore the park's natural beauty and relax in a serene setting. Holyrood Park often spelled Holyrood or Holyrood Park, is a stunning natural expanse of open land and rugged beauty situated in the heart of Edinburgh, Scotland. It's a remarkable natural attraction, offering a variety of activities and sites for visitors to enjoy. Here's what you can experience when visiting Holyrood Park. Arthur's Seat. The park is home to Arthur's Seat, an extinct volcano and the main peak in the park. Hiking to the summit of Arthur's Seat is a popular and rewarding activity, offering breathtaking panoramic views of Edinburgh and its surroundings. St. Anthony's Chapel. Explore the ruins of this medieval chapel, which is nestled in the park. The chapel offers a glimpse into the area's historical and religious significance. Duddingston Lock. A picturesque lock, lake, at the foot of Arthur's Seat. Duddingston Lock is a haven for birdwatchers and offers pleasant walking trails. Salisbury Crags. These dramatic cliffs offer a unique geological formation and scenic views over the city. You can also enjoy rock climbing here. Queen's Drive. Take a leisurely walk or bike ride along Queen's Drive, which encircles the park. It's a great way to explore the park's various features. They are an integral part of the park's ecosystem and contribute to its maintenance. Holyrood Park offers a peaceful escape from the bustling city streets of Edinburgh. Whether you're interested in a challenging hike to Arthur's Seat, a leisurely stroll, or simply a place to appreciate nature, the park has something to offer everyone. The views from the park are especially stunning, and it's a great place to take in the beauty of both the city and the surrounding countryside. Number 5. The Royal Yacht Britannia. Visit the former royal yacht of Queen Elizabeth II. It's now a floating museum, offering insights into the lives of the British royals. The Royal Yacht Britannia is a former royal yacht that served the British royal family for over 40 years. It was in service from 1953 to 1997 and was used for numerous royal tours, state visits, and family vacations. Today, it is a popular tourist attraction and museum permanently berthed at the Ocean Terminal in Leith, near Edinburgh. Here's what you can expect to see and do when visiting the Royal Yacht Britannia. Tour the yacht. Explore the yacht's various decks and rooms, including the state apartments, the Royal Deck Tea Room, the Sun Lounge, the Cruise Quarters, the Engine Room, and the Queen's Bedroom. You'll get a glimpse into the daily life and work that took place on the yacht. Audio Tour. As you tour the yacht, you'll be provided with a complimentary audio guide, which includes commentary from former crew members, providing fascinating insights into the yacht's history and its role in the royal family's life. The Royal Deck Tea Room. Enjoy a meal, snacks, or afternoon tea on the yacht's royal deck, which offers panoramic views of the waterfront. Gift Shop. The Britannia's Gift Shop offers a range of royal-themed and nautical souvenirs, as well as exclusive items related to the yacht. Special Events. The Royal Yacht Britannia occasionally hosts special events, exhibitions, and activities. Check the official website for any upcoming events during your visit. 
The Royal Yacht Britannia provides a unique and intimate look into the lives of the British royal family as they traveled the world. You can see the opulent rooms used for official functions and the more modest crew quarters. The audio guide adds depth to the experience by sharing personal stories and historical context. Visiting the Royal Yacht Britannia is a must for anyone interested in British royal history, maritime heritage, or simply curious about the inner workings of a royal yacht. It offers a fascinating glimpse into a bygone era and is an enjoyable experience for visitors of all ages. Consider taking day trips from Edinburgh to explore the surrounding areas, including the historic town of Stirling, the seaside village of North Berwick, or the scenic highlands. Remember that Edinburgh's weather can be unpredictable, so it's a good idea to be prepared for various conditions, especially if you plan to spend time outdoors. Enjoy your visit to this beautiful and culturally rich city.